The ultimate showdown with Cell was on the horizon. Goku, brimming with anticipation, leapt onto the mat, eager to gauge Cell's might. His confidence was palpable, more so than ever before. Cell, the android, scrutinized Goku's formidable ki and grinned. The Saiyan proved to be a worthy adversary, surpassing the previous two. Goku, wearing a smile, engaged in a brief exchange with Cell before the battle commenced. Piccolo wasn't wrong, you're quite the powerhouse, Cell, and you're no slouch yourself. Shall we begin? Absolutely. As Goku and Cell ascended, they began to amass energy. The tatami started to fracture, and fragments of the slab levitated. The television presenter, Satan, and his disciples retreated as the ground trembled under the might of the two warriors. Goku morphed into a Super Saiyan level 2, prompting a smile from the android who then launched an attack. Goku deftly parried Cell's strikes, their movements resembling a dance in the sky. Cell landed a punch on Goku's chin. Unfazed, Goku retaliated by hurling Cell towards the ground, obliterating the tatami. Cell recovered swiftly and rejoined the fray. Despite the passage of several minutes, neither warrior showed signs of fatigue. Site observed the fight with a serious demeanor. He knew that despite Goku's outward appearance of vitality, his strength was gradually waning. Bulma, too, noticed this, and her expression turned grave. Goku's strength is unparalleled. I've never seen a man with such might. He's the strongest man on the planet. Aoi remarked, earning a disdainful look from Vegeta. Cell isn't going all out. He's only utilizing about 45% of his power, Ask pointed out. Exactly, and he doesn't seem to tire either, Site added. As Goku continued his battle, his comrades watched the contest closely. Cell unleashed an energy wave at Goku, who redirected it towards uninhabited mountains. Satan was petrified. The warriors possessed superhuman strength. Cell launched a barrage of key waves, some of which Goku managed to evade. Goku retaliated in kind, maintaining the equilibrium of the battle. His smile never faded. He attacked Cell and then landed on the ground. Is something amiss? I concede. You're forfeiting? Who's my next opponent? Your next opponent will be my son, Sun Site. Your son? Well, that's fine. By the way, this is for you. Goku handed him a seed of the hermit. Ah, it's one of those seeds that restore energy. Thank you. Cell accepted the seed and consumed it. Goku flew back to his companions. Krillin looked at him in terror. Goku had aided a formidable enemy, withdrawn from the fight, and commanded his son to battle. Vegeta seemed to comprehend Goku's decision, as did Piccolo and Aisha. Nevertheless, Krillin confronted Goku. You've lost your mind, Goku. Why would you assist Cell? And why send Site to fight? Vegeta could have stepped in. He's powerful enough to defeat Cell. Have faith, my friend. I know what I'm doing. Classic Kakarado. Always has an ace up his sleeve. Do you think your strategy will pay off? I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Site approached Cell. He was somewhat nervous. Cell was a formidable adversary. He flexed his knuckles and eyed the android, thanks to the seed of the hermit that his father had given him. He had replenished his energy, ensuring a fair fight. Cell assessed Site's strength by conducting a thorough examination of his opponent. Once he finished analyzing Site, he smiled and moved closer to the boy. At first glance, you don't appear to be a formidable opponent, but I know you're concealing your power. You're perceptive, Site responded with a sideways smile. What's stopping you from unleashing your power? Let's get this show on the road. I'm starting to get bored. Why should I reveal my power to you? Don't play dumb, kid. I know that anger triggers your power. Get angry. I refuse. Cell smirked and initiated his attack on Site. The young son didn't want to reveal his power to his adversary, fearing he might lose control. Cell tested Site's reflexes by launching some key waves at him. Site dodged them all with ease, using Cell's attacks as a warm-up. The organic android noticed the hybrid's passivity and decided to intensify his attack. He slammed Site into the ground with force, causing the young man to bleed from his lip. He wiped his blood with his wristband and stood up. Cell continued to attack Site, but he couldn't provoke the young man's anger. Hmm, you're quite the stubborn young man. How long do you think you can hold out without tapping into your key? Don't make me laugh. You won't be able to kill me. Whatever you say. Cell landed a kick on Site's face. Some of his kicks were dodged by Site, but others connected. Despite everything, Site continued to smile as he counterattacked. Goku watched the fight attentively, smiling. Bulma, standing by his side, looked serious. Although she understood why Goku had chosen his son to fight, she doubted that Site could defeat someone as fearsome as Cell. That boy is incredible. Despite his youth, 
he fights as well or better than a man, As commented. Site is the strongest boy in the world, Misty said, her cheeks flushing red. Cell and Site continued their struggle. Neither seemed willing to back down. Cell decided to add a twist to the fight. Seven Cell Juniors emerged from his stinger. They were identical to Cell, except for their reduced size and blue color. Each of them engaged the warriors. Vegeta battled one of these beings. They were nearly as powerful as Cell, and were formidable fighters despite their small stature. The Saiyan took some time, but eventually defeated his opponent using his final flash. Oisha and Kirin fought another Cell Junior. Kirin managed to defeat that opponent using his powerful sword, as was his custom. Oisha looked at him smiling. She had never asked her son from the future about the origin of that powerful sword. She assumed it was a creation of Bulma. But she didn't believe that someone like Bulma would focus on creating weapons for warriors. I've never asked you, but where did you get that sword? It's a gift from an old friend of ours. His name is Tapion, and he's a warrior from another planet. He uses his ocarina, and with his beautiful music, he can soothe even the fiercest of beasts. We met him in my time. Perhaps one day, he'll visit this timeline, he responded with a smile. Tapion, that's a beautiful name. I'd love to meet this young man. Well, let's continue fighting. I think the others are having trouble with the Cell Juniors. Agreed, she nodded, and they went to assist the others. Goku had defeated his opponent after a prolonged battle that had drained his strength. One of the Cell Juniors had attacked Aoi, but she was rescued by Krillin. The other warriors had already dispatched the remaining Cell Juniors. Site continued his fight against Cell. I see that you weren't perturbed by my Cell Juniors either. You're quite the peculiar boy. Peculiar? No boy your age could bear to watch his comrades being attacked. But you seemed remarkably calm and composed. Of course, because I trust my friends, and I knew they could defeat those beings. Let's see if you can handle this. Cell unleashed an energy wave at Android 16, resulting in the near destruction of the colossal humanoid. All that remained of the android was his head, which had landed several meters away from Cell. Site looked on with sorrow. This android, created with the sole purpose of annihilating his father, was not evil. He was a good man. Site moved towards the head, but Cell kicked it away. Suddenly Misty intervened, preventing Cell from trampling on Sixteen's head. Scram, kid, he dismissed her with a wave of his hand. Misty retaliated by hurling a key wave at Cell, grazing his arm. Infuriated, Cell counterattacked, leaving Misty weakened and prone on the ground. This incensed Site, his gaze hardened, and he advanced towards Cell. No one lays a hand on my Misty, he roared, his energy surging. 